Payson Tilden and James Bullock are here to tell us about the Jimenez Facio House Museum in St. Augustine and its significance to the First Coast. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it, guys. And then we'll, we'll give you, like, daps because yes. you got to hold that later. So. <laughs> so, okay, so tell us about the museum. So the Jimenez Facio House was built over 225 years ago. It is one of 31 remaining coquina structures in St. Augustine, which makes it very precious yeah. because the coquina is disappearing. Right. So it uh, takes a lot to take care of it. It was built by a Spanish merchant as a grocery store, billiards room, and tavern okay. in the 1700s. In the 1800s, it was purchased by successively by three ladies and run as a fashionable boarding house. Okay. Very unusual in a time where women were not allowed to own property yeah. or run businesses. Right. So it became very fashionable, was known particularly for a fine dining room. We <laughs> served a nine course meal every single day. That would have taken some time. <laughs> and all cooked in a 1798 original kitchen. Wow. So very exciting. That is cool. And then eventually, as Mr. Flagler bought in his luxury hotels, huh. boarding houses fell out of favor. Eventually, in 1939, the Colonial National Society of Colonial Dames of America bought the house, and it is one of our historical properties. That's really interesting. Okay, so tell us uh, about the history of the I Lived Here as Well production. Uh, well, is very much similar to, say, Downton Abbey. Okay. Um, it's a continuing series. This is the fourth year where we have focused on the lives and times of several individuals, some that we know were historically documented to have been there. Uh, our goal was to be historically accurate, fair, balanced, inclusive, and most of all, uplifting. So we think we've created a tapestry that's inspiring of the lives of people who otherwise would have been forgotten. Right. Behind the scenes, these are the people who made the nine course dinners yeah. and served them and, and made the guests feel welcomed. It's an incredible story and ultimately the house is the theater. So it's theater in the round, the audience moves through the house and will interact with the actors and actresses. Very cool, that sounds amazing, right on. And that's really cool to tell the story so that way these folks don't get forgotten. Okay, so what are some of your outstanding activities and events that are gonna be held here in 2024? So in addition to the I Lived Here as well, which yeah. is on until the 2nd of March, mm -hmm. we will follow that in Women's History Month with the beginning of an exhibit called Dressing Louisa. Yeah. She was our, our final owner and lived for almost 100 years across the 1800s. Whoa. And so we have a beautiful collection of authentic dresses, uh, undergarments yeah, for both men and women. This is a Civil War dress, and I have to wear the gloves. Yeah, it's extremely fragile. I don't yeah. know that it can be seen, but it's very, very frail. And it was a donation to the house by a family whose grandmother had worn it during the Civil War. Whoa. And so we have beautiful lace items, uh, all kinds of accoutrements for men and women who would have been using these while they were living in the house. That's and, really uh, cool. Okay, so where can folks go to learn some more, get tickets, uh, go check it out, things like that? At the, uh, our website, the mm -hmm. JimenezFacioHouse.org, and Jimenez begins with an X. That's right. H X I M E N E Z. So not many people would know this. Good, you have it. Yeah, on we got that right there, there on the go. screen. Yeah. So we would be delighted to welcome anyone. Please check out the website for all our events throughout the year. We're booked all the way to to December already. Wow! Congratulations. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you both for being here today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so you. much.